done rehearsed and I just love winging it. Turn the tone down, it's still got the bell tone. Original finish. Oh shit. Six fifty five. Original finish red sparkle Fender Stratocaster. Nineteen sixty five. Had to drop it. It went back to Fender. It got a new decal. Uh, pick guard, knobs, pickup covers. Been played its whole life. Still got the big light tip. Still got the no line Cluson tuners that are solid. I mean, you think this thing had about three to four refrets. At least three. It just got a new refret. Perfect refret. Done here. New bone knot. I put on NOS decal because the other one was half wore off. And the way I look at it, if you got a maple neck Stratocaster, you need a correct decal. So now you can say, why didn't I change the pick guard, which I have some uh, all 55 Bakelite, 855 in my shop. Listen to Bakelite sound. Uh, here's a 68, all plastic. Let's see the difference. I, I don't even know what I'm doing, but, you, but I do know what I'm doing. Hear the difference? That's fake light, baby. Okay, I'll get another, I'll get another thing. Here's 82 Fullerton. This is like valuable information to me. Okay, we'll get off that subject. Had all three pickups rewound by Jim Roth. Two of them were weak, and the bridge one had a little bit weak signal. And I did this strat like I would. Now you got rewound pickups sound better than originals. It's in your head and it don't. If Jim Roth does it. Sixty-four Prince of Reverb, hundred percent. No reverb.
This little quiet thing is. color right now. I can see I'm under the fluorescent light and it's giving me a damn headache. Right there's the right color. Tell by the strings. Come on Mr. Freaking Focus. Sent to a bass boat shop in 1955, Leo Fender. Find another 1955 original finish, Red Sparkle Stratocaster. I knew of one other one from Hollywood. I got to look up this guy, Nicky P. He's kind of like a famous dude from the 80s. I got him my email. I'll let you know what I find out. Thanks for stopping by.